Oops. Okay, we are recording. Hello, ladies. If you're able to put your cameras on so I can see all of your beautiful faces, because I love you guys. Okay, so this is just kind of like a little refresher or for anybody jumping like back into the business, maybe you took a step back for a little bit or maybe you never really got started, but I just want to talk to you guys about like daily tasks and how to really build that network and build customers, relationships, just all the things to do kind of on a daily basis. This is going to be kind of short, but I felt like it was just needed to, I just need to get on here and just refresh you guys and help you out. So first, um, if you guys have any questions or anything that you want me to go over, like 100% that you feel like you're struggling with, put it in the chat. Like right now, don't like be scared to ask any questions. No questions, a dumb question. I'm here for you guys. I've probably asked every single question in the book when I joined. I literally asked every question probably 50 times because that's just, that's how I learn is asking questions, asking questions, asking questions. And I forget literally everything. You can ask Sam. We're real life besties. And I say the same thing like 50,000 times. Like, okay, Jill, you told me that already. <laughs> but that's just me. So you guys ask away. I want to know any questions. So first, host to post. So you guys, if you don't know what host to post is, you are missing out. Host to post is my bread and butter. It is how I built my business. Literally, from nothing to what it is now. Um, it's how I sign most of my customers, probably, probably 90% of my customers. Um, and I actually didn't dive into host to post right away because I had no idea what it was. And I was very bad with like my training and stuff. So I was like, Oh, I don't, I can do it myself. And then I was like, okay, I need to reach out and like actually get the hang of this. And I was like, what is HAP? And we went over it and I freaking mastered it. And I got to help do some trainings on host to post just because it's my favorite thing in the entire world. It's the best way to build your network, get friends, get customers, get potentials, get distributors, whatever. Um, I don't know if any of you guys on here joined from a host to post. You might have, I don't know. I can't remember. I just, I just can't remember. Um, okay. So what is host to post? Host to post is, um, where somebody's going to post for you on their page. So we have a bunch of them posted on the Diamond Dreamers page. So if you guys can't find any, um, you can message me. You can message your upline, whoever signed you. Um, and you might find more too on like, if you go to the host of post trainings, I've actually seen some in the comments. So when you, you're on them live, you can save those. You can play around with them. The ones that we have on our page are ones that have worked really, really well for us. So um, we just want to kind of go into how it goes. So uh, we do giveaways monthly. Um, we do um, cash giveaways is what we have been doing on the freedom warfare page. So you just do a $10 buy-in once a month. So you don't have to do it like every, every single week. Cause there's a new giveaway every week, do it once a month. And, um, uh, what was I going to say? Sorry. I just got a text message. <laughs> um, okay. So we do that once a month and they'll announce the winners on Mondays. And then after the winners are announced, they'll tell you what the new giveaway is. So we'll more likely post on the chat. You can look it up on the uh, Freedom or Fear page. So um, the first way, the first thing like host to post, you can do product host to post, which that's, Sam, do you want to put maybe some of them in the chat? If you can, if you can't, I can do it too. Um, but the testers need one that's for thermal phytetic. So we have scripts for it. It's just, it's like testers needed two pills a day, lose an average of two pills a day for 90 days, lose an average of 31 pounds, something like that. Are you in? Um, and that is a really, really, really good one. Um, and, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, um, you're going to, so when you put the, when they put the post up, I'm going to show you literally step-by-step step exactly how I do it. Cause maybe some of you guys do it differently or maybe you forgot. So I'm just going to go to this girl just posted for me a little bit ago. So I'm going to go. So I messaged her and like, I just, I literally just sent her this text message. It's just, Hey, Thanks for coming on my giveaway. She commented on my post. Um, it's $50 for four people. All you have to do is to be entered is to copy and paste a simple status for me and post on your wall. Are you in? Simple as that. Like you don't have to overword it. You don't have to like, just be simple with that. You guys, people don't like to read a lot of wordy things. Um, and she said, hello, you're welcome. Thank you. Yes, I can do that. I said, okay, thank you so much. Just repost this to your page and let me know when it's posted. And I sent that and then I sent a separate message because it's easier for them to just copy and paste instead of go back and delete. Cause I've had people when I do it in one message and they will send the whole thing that says, just repost this to your page and let me know when it's up. And then there'll be like a lot of spaces and then they'll have the host to post and you don't want them to do that. Um, so I do it in two separate messages. So um, the host to post I had them do was, Hey guys, 
my friend is looking for testers with like this emoji. You can use whatever emoji you want, <laughs> but that's the one I have on there. And it says, if you could take one tablet at breakfast and one at lunch and lose 90 pounds, or right. one tablet at breakfast and one tablet at lunch for the next 90 days and lose up to 30 pounds, would you do it? Simple as day, you guys. And when people, she posted it to her wall, she said posting, I said, thank you. She said, you're very welcome. Do you want me to take you? I said, you don't have to. I turn the notifications on. So as soon as she said she posted it or she was posting it, I went to her wall. Here's her wall. And I'm going to scroll down and here's the post. So I always heard it. And then my screen is super cracked <laughs> if you can't tell, but I click on these two little dots right here. You're going to click on those. Oh my gosh, my screen. Click on the, click on the dots. And this is going to pop up at the bottom and you're going to turn on the notifications. You're just going to click that. But then you can click save post. So I'm going to click unsave so I can just show you guys what my collections look like. So I go to click save post. So I have collections for every single month. I forgot the zero on that, but there's July, 2020, June, May, potential distributor when they do like their um, coffee post, whatever. Um, so then you can just add a new one every single month. And I'm just going to click on put it on there. So I'm going to have all of my hosted posts saved on there. You guys can either put their names in your notes or what I do, I do it the dumb way. I should put it in my notes every single day, but I don't. Um, so at the end of the week, when I'm putting my entries in, I just, you can just go to your regular Facebook and you're gonna click on these little lines right here. And you're gonna click on your saved and all of them are right here. You can just click see all. And you can see, like it'll tell you how many days ago they posted, whenever. And you're just gonna, what I do is I look at I look them at my computer and then I type them in on the giveaway post. Whatever you guys want to do with that. It's just, that's totally up to you. I do it the hard way. I should write them down as I go. I write them on a piece of paper, which I'm going to go over in a little bit, but um, that's how I do that. And then the next kind of give, or next kind of post that I absolutely love for building your network, which we're going to talk about in a little bit too, is the partnered up host to post. And all it is, is you're going to have them say, I partnered up with my friend, whatever. So I'm mine is I partnered with my friend Jill to give away $50 to four people. For you to be entered, drop your favorite color to get, en get an entry. You can say, drop your middle name, drop your birthday, whatever you want to do. Something interactive like that. You could even have them post a picture. Like there's a towel picture, like how you fold your towels or how do you put your toilet paper on the toilet paper roll or how do you cut your bread, whatever. You guys can play with it. I feel like if you do use a picture, you're probably going to get more interactions. I'm just being lazy. Sometimes I get a lot of interactions. Sometimes I don't. Um, Stay with that. You're going to save it. You're going to turn on notifications. When people comment on that, so this is the part where some people kind of get, like they get um, scared of what to say. Um, I have a script for it too. Maybe I'll put it in the, I mean, I'll put all the scripts in the comments of this video when I post it on our page. Um, but you're just going to message the people that comment on that giveaway post. First, you're going to like that post, whatever. In every single person that comments, I go to their Facebook and if they are negative, if they have like themselves doing all the drugs, uh, half naked people. I'm not going to send a friend request because I don't want to see that off my Facebook. Like I, that does not, that's not something I want to look at every single day. So I'm not going to send them a friend request. Still going to like their comment though. So it's not like I'm leaving people out. Um, but I'm going to send people friend requests. I don't send more than five at once because I do not want to get blocked. I get blocked all the time on Facebook. Um, but this is what I have been doing. So I'm just going to show you on this one. So I'm going to click on this girl's name. I liked it. So down here though, after like five, I posted on there. I say to be sure to be sure to add me and PM me giveaway to confirm your entry. And I get a lot of messages into my message requests that say uh, giveaway. So it's a good way. So you don't have to just add every single person to message them, but I still send my friend requests and see this girl did not accept my friend request. So later on, I'm going to go back and I'm going to cancel it. Cause you don't want a lot of pending friend requests. Um, but if I click on, our messages. I'll show you exactly what I just did. Okay. So I'm going to click on our messages right here. I have not sent this, but I have the message literally sitting in this. So as soon as she would send my friend request, if anybody accepts my friend request and they commented on a host to post, I have this sitting in there. So I know exactly what they commented on. So I would send that right away. And all it says is, Hey girl. Hey, I saw your comment on the get giveaway. Yes. So four winners, winners of $50 in order to get you entered, just throw a post up on your Facebook for me and I can take care of the rest. So the drawing is Monday. Are you ready? Simple as day. You can have them do a, a product one. You can have them do another partnered up one. Look at their network. If they have like over 
I always say if they have over 800 friends, have them do a partnered up because that's a lot of friends. When I joined the business, I only had 20, not 20, 200 friends on Facebook. So it just use your own judgment. Sometimes they'll blow up. Sometimes they won't. Don't get discouraged if they don't, because you guys have the option to send out a bazillion host of post messages a day or however many friends you guys have. Um, and that's the second one. I, my goal is to get four. Okay. So 10 total, 10 hosts of posts total every single day, which that should be everybody's. I know it sounds like a lot, but, um, when you're getting 10 hosts of posts up, you guys, you're getting in so many new conversations, but don't have it be the same people every single day that host a post. If y'all find people in your network that they're going to be wanting to support you, whatever, and they're going to want to post for you, they're going to want to get in your, in your giveaways. Um, you don't have to message every single time, message them every single time they comment on like a giveaway post or something. Don't message them every single time there's a new giveaway. Um, just because they will probably never end up becoming a customer because they just want that free stuff. Um, or they want to support you, whatever. Sometimes I delete them if I don't have like an actual relationship with them. So that's a good tip too, because they will never order from you. They just want, they just want, um, they just want free money, whatever. Um, but don't have them do the same post to post every single time. After they go through like the ones I have, I'm usually like, mm, I don't know, because I do send a message I'm going to talk about in a second. I keep getting ahead of myself, but um, you don't want them to be posting every single week, the same host to post, have them switch it up, whatever. Don't have them do. I usually don't have the same per a person post two times in one week, unless their post blew up. And then I'll have them send it, do like a, a partnered up one. So like I'll have them do a product one. Maybe they get like 20 comments end of the week, like, Hey, do you want another entry in the giveaway? They say, yes, I'll give them the partnered up one. So I can get more friends on my Facebook because that's the goal is to reach as many people as we, as we can. Um, and then the next one is our business, our opportunity host to post. And <clears throat> I've been playing around with a new way of doing this. I did post it in the chat. So if you guys don't have it, um, let me know and you can make your own pictures too. So we did this picture. I actually got this from somebody else and I just blacked out the phone number and used my own. Um, but I used this picture because you want it to be kind of like, eye-catching I would say not like you don't want it to be spammy you want it to be eye-catching um and I think these are really really cute so um all it says is hey y'all who's looking for an extra income right now my friend Jill has three work from home positions left for people who can dedicate about 60 minutes a day you can use that whatever time frame you want like if you want somebody who's going to hustle their butt off you can say like two to four hours a day I just drooled all over myself um and uh working from her phone or computer she's beyond successful and ready to mentor you and I got oh I need to add this girl on Facebook I didn't even see that she she said interested. Uh, so I'm going to, okay, I'm going to, I'm just going to share with you. When I'm, oh shit. Oop, shoot. I was about cussed on a zoom. You guys, <laughs> it's fine. Um, okay. So I hearted it. She said, I'm interested. I hearted it. And I'm going to say message me girl. Message me girl. And then I'm going to go into her inbox and I'm going to say, Hey girl, I saw your comment on my on whoever is. I'm going to go back and see. So Jessica's post on Jessica's post. I would love, or would you like to, would you like some more info on what I do? And I'm not going to send it. It's sitting in my inbox. So if she accepts my friend request and messages me right away, I'm obviously not going to send that. Um, but that way I know who she is when she accepts my friend request. I just started doing this like two weeks ago and it made my life a heck of a lot easier because I would have to go back and look at all my old host posts. Be like, was I just adding this person when I was expanding my network or was she commenting on a host to post? So it can get kind of confusing, especially if you're like working your business. Hey, you should every day. You're going to be getting a lot of new friends on your Facebook. So good tip. I don't know if you guys have been doing it, but I absolutely love it. So that's the business host to post. So we went over the main host to post. So you have products, you have partnered up, and you have a business host to post. Now, we don't just leave it at host to post, you guys. Um, I want you to drop a one in the chat if you just have them do a host to post and you never usually message them back after that. Don't be ashamed. Like, put a one in the, I want to see if you guys put a, put a one in the chat if you don't usually message them after they host a post for you. Maybe. No? Because <laughs> I never used to. I know I've been... I know I've been um, telling you guys, like giving you guys messages and stuff. So um, after they post for me, I'll give it like a day or two. And I'm just going to be like, hey, girl, thank you so much for, oh, I see people raising their hands and putting up ones. Okay. Okay, girls. Okay. Um, so what I do is I'm just like, hey, thank you so much for posting for me. 
Um, I still have so many discounted spots left. Would you do you, Can I send you some more information? So if it was her product and they didn't get a lot of interactions on that post, maybe they got like one comment. I'm going to send them that one. Otherwise, if they got like four or five comments, if even if I didn't send a customer from it, I'm going to message them and be like, Hey girl, okay. I just had to reach out. Thank you so much for posting me. I'm just wondering, have you ever thought of doing what I do and earning a little bit of extra income from your phone? Opening up a whole can of worms, you guys, they could become a distributor. You never, ever, ever know. Because if they're willing to post for you just to get their name into it and entered into a giveaway, why wouldn't they want to post for themselves and make money doing it? But you have to have that mindset. Nobody, nobody has told you no about this business until you ask them. The worst thing they can say is no. They can be nasty for you nasty to you but if they're willing to post for you guys they're more than likely not going to be nasty at you and if they are there's a block button we can block whoever we want on facebook instagram whatever you guys are on um but don't leave the conversation just as a host of post i go back after like a few days and i'll just go back i'll scroll down through my host of posts and if they're not a customer of mine already i'm gonna message them and i'm just gonna be like hey have you ever thought about doing this for, with me from your phone? Whatever. You can think of a good message. Just don't be like super spammy. Don't be too wordy. You don't want to just word vomit. Like I used to do that really bad. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I do this and this and this and this and this. Thank you so much for posting. And I would get left on red all the time. Make it short and simple. If they leave you on red, it's fine. Have them do another host post in a few weeks. And if it's a product one, ask them if they want to use the product. If they don't say anything bad, we're going to delete them off of Facebook because they don't want to use the products. They don't want to be in the business. They just want the free money unless they're your guys' friends. So just a quick tip. Do not leave any on any hosted post on message. Don't leave any person on message. You want to reach as many people as you want, but you want to be building those relationships too. So you guys should be interacting with them if they post a post it for you. Um, and just liking their pictures and commenting on their pictures. Like you want to be, there's okay so the world is like so nasty right now like I'm sure you guys see it there's so much bad stuff happening in the world and there's so much bad stuff on social media I just like for me personally I don't know if you guys are saying I want to be the light in that like it is just horrible like the things that people say to each other on Facebook the comments I read like there's people are so degrading and they're just so nasty and then just all the politics and everything I want to be the light in that so I want to post positive things on other people's Facebook. So I'm going to be trying to build those people up. I'm going to, can you guys hear me? Oh, I thought it was, everybody was frozen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder if my thing glitched. Um, but I want to be building people up. I want to be spreading, spreading that positivity. And um, next, that's the kind of what I talk about with like posting and stuff. So a lot of you guys know, a lot of you guys have been in for a while. You know, our Facebook is our storefront. We want to stay away from sharing stuff on Facebook. And when I say sharing stuff on Facebook, that doesn't mean like sharing yourself, whatever. You don't want to click that share button because this is our business now. Unless it's something really, really, really important to you and you feel like you, your audience really wants to hear this, you can share it. It's 100% up to you. I don't remember the last time I shared anything on my Facebook like that. If it was like a positive picture or something, I'm going to save that picture and I'm going to post it myself. Or if it's like a funny picture, I'm going to, I'm going to save it to my phone and I'm going to post it to my wall. I'm not going to push that share button because when you're doing that, the algorithm of Facebook, your, your posts are not going to be seen as much as if you would post it yourself. I know it sounds weird. It took me a really long time to kind of catch on to the algorithm. You'll hear people talking about it. Um, but just literally just take my word for it. You don't want to be pushing that share button. You want to be sharing yourself. You want to be sharing the products. You want to be sharing the business, but you don't want to be spammy. Um, so when you're posting, you guys, um, think about what you want to see on social media. Do you want to see a lot of just product, 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 product? No, I would not like to see that. Like that does not attract me. That's not eye catching. Um, I like to see people's faces. I like to, we're nosy. If you guys like me, I'm nosy. I like to get into people's lives. So I share a lot of stuff about my life. I don't share too much that I'm uncomfortable with. I mean, I've gotten uncomfortable on or on lives and I've talked about like my insecurity. Oh. My, my dog. Frank. I've talked about my insecurities and stuff like that, but you can push your limits. Um, stay positive though, you guys. Try to stay as positive as you can and post those positive things. You're going to have, when you're posting positive things, you're going to attract positive people. You don't want negative people in your network. I don't know what's happening. Hold on. Sam, do you want to add anything for a second? I got to go see what's going on with my child. 
Hi guys. Yeah, I can jump in here. Um, so pretty much what she was saying was just share your life. And I have been really bad about doing this. Like in the past, I was really bad about doing this on stories. Um, I felt like what I had going on in my life wasn't going to be interesting to people. It wasn't going to um, excite people but, and get them interested. But I have noticed like even, I don't know what it was the other day. I think I was outside maybe playing frisbee with my dog and I just posted like a video of me throwing the frisbee for him um and I got so many views on it and then you know I put the next couple slides after that maybe a couple hours later I did some product slides and all the people that were viewing my dog just went through my whole entire story and so they saw those product slides right after my life slide um and so it kind of attracted them and I was getting more and more views than I usually get on if I were to just post about the products um so just sharing that and being consistent when you are posting so I try to post um, a couple of times a day. And so I'll either do like a lifestyle post. I'll do a picture of me. Um, I just don't want it to be like post after post after post of just like a colored background, colored background, colored background, because that gets really um, annoying to people. It would to me if that's all I saw on someone's feed. And so I try to change it out and do like a before and after. And then the next post I do is a picture of me and my family. And the next post I do is um, maybe a host to post type of one. And the next post that I do is talking about how this business has affected my life, like changing it up, but being very consistent. Um, I just found that like my news feed really likes when I post early in the morning um, and like after eight or nine o'clock at night, just because that's when most people are on. So you can kind of play with it. Um, I don't know, I'm sure you guys all know this, but if you go to Messenger um, and you click on, like on the bottom, if you click on the people, you can actually see how many of your friends are active. So like sometimes during the day, I'll only have 300 friends active. Sometimes I'll have 999 plus. So that's a really good time to post because that means over a thousand people are on Facebook right now out of my 5,000 friends. So a lot of people are going to be seeing that. It's going to get a lot of traction. Um, so just kind of playing around with when the best time is for your network. Um, I don't get any traction if I post in the middle of the day. So I have even been, because when you wake up, you don't have a lot of things. Well, I don't, I don't have a lot of things to post. And most of the time I don't feel, feel like taking a picture. So the other day um, I had gotten dressed up. And so I took a couple pictures in a different, in a couple different outfits, um, just so that I can use those throughout the day. And I can also um, save those in my notes if I have a good idea. If I have, oh, I like that girl, how she posted like this. She got a lot of interaction. I want to post like that, but later on. So it's not the same thing um, showing up on the feed all of the time. And so I just put it in my notes and I include the picture with it. Um, like, I'll show you guys. I just did it today because I wrote out like this really good, really good post and I didn't want to post it today. Um, I'm going to post it in the morning because I know I'm going to be really busy in the morning. So I just wrote it out. And then I included the picture that I'm going to put with it. And I'll just post that in the morning when I first wake up. So I don't have to create something. Um, I already had that idea in my head. So you can go ahead, Jill. <laughs> I'm just blabbering. <laughs> no, thank you. My kids were like attacking each other. They're supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> Mom live. Um, but you guys, I don't even know where I was. I don't even know what I was talking about. But share your life. When you guys, okay, think about like, I know you guys probably see my posts on Facebook. Put in the chat, what do you think of when you see me? Like you guys know me from my Facebook. A lot of you guys we have never met in person. Put in the chat, I wanna know because I wanna see if you, like your five pillars, exactly what I was gonna talk about. And um, I wanna know if you guys, like are you guys sharing that kind of stuff? So most of you guys know I'm a mom. I love my cows. I live on a farm. Like these are the things that I talk about. I'm obsessed with coffee. And I'm getting close with my, my faith. Like these are things that I talk about very openly on my Facebook, on my Instagram stories that are linked to my Facebook. But I want you guys to share that too. Not every single post has to be about the business. Not every single post has to be about a product. Um, it can be just literally just a small interactive post. Like what are you growing in your garden? What are you, something that interests you though. You're not going to go post what's your favorite Hold on, I gotta mute myself. Sorry. Mommy. Can you talk for a second? I'm sorry. 
It's okay. So she was just talking about the five pillars. So what is, if they go to your page, what is one thing or the couple things that they are going to know about you? Um, what did your life look like before it works? We all obviously had lives before it. So working, it works into it. It's not like a total shift where now all you talk about is it works. All you promote is it works. Um, how is it works fitting into your life? Um, I've been posting some of my workout videos that I've been doing um, just to kind of bring it all together, like to know that the products are working. I'm being my better self. Um, sometimes I'll even post like me reading a devotional book um, because I'm, you know, getting into my faith, all of that. And so what did your life look before it works and how can you kind of trickle it works in and make it more appealing to people and not just before and afters, black and green bling, like it works used to be known for. So. Yes, 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 yes. Um, I, yeah, that's the five pillars. <laughs> just remember that you guys think of things that interest you, you guys, you're going to attract people just like you. You never know who has the same interest. I'm out of breath from running up the stairs so fast right now. Holy crap. <laughs> I need to work out. Um, but share your lives, people or share your lives with the people on your social media because you never know who's going to relate with you. You guys are going to get some long-term friends. I have a lot of people. <laughs> Come on, people. <laughs> Come on, people. Just do what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but you guys are going to find some people on Facebook who are going to be your long-term friends. And maybe they'll never buy products from you. Never. Maybe they'll never become a distributor. But you're going to find those people on social media that are going to just reach out to you, or you can just reach out to them. If I see somebody's having a hard time, I'm going to reach out to them and be like, Hey, I saw your post and I just wanted to reach out and say, I'm thinking of you and your family, whatever. And it's not weird because they know me and we've built that relationship. We have that connection. So just kind of work on that with your guys' posting and stuff. And we don't want to be post after post after post about product, 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 product. Yeah, it's important that we have products and stuff, but that's, I put a lot of that on my stories. Um, you can do like one product post a day. You don't want to do two product posts a day because you don't want to confuse your audience and say, like, let's say you do one about the coffee and then one about the skincare. They're gonna be like, what does this girl sell? Like, what is, it's good to show that we have options, but you don't want to just do like different, 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 different. Cause those people who love that coffee, they're going to keep watching you. And eventually they're going to message you today. I signed up a little customer. She's been wanting to do the coffee for five months and she keeps going back and forth. And she said, okay, I'm finally re ready to jump in. I saw your, your make your coffee this morning on your story. Like just little things like that. People are watching. You never know who's watching. You never know who actually wants to try it until you guys start build, or building those relationships and reaching out to them. Um, do you guys have any questions on what we've talked about so far, posting or host a post? I think I kind of covered, I covered a lot more than I, I was going to. Really quick. Mm -hmm. So as far as like signing up a customer um, and if you're only promoting a couple of products, that's why it's important to talk about other products, but not like maybe stick with a week of talking about a, a couple of products and the next week talking about others. And in your story, that's kind of where you can talk about different products. But even when like signing up your customers, if they say that they're interested in weight loss, ask them if they're coffee lovers, ask them um, if they would feel like they need a cleanse. They don't know that we have those products unless we put it out there and talk to them about it. Um, so don't just be like, Oh, I got a TFX. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to offer. Cause maybe they don't even know that we have coffee. If you haven't been promoting it, um, they might want to put a couple of products with it. So don't, don't spend their money before they've even told you no. Um, if they're interested, they're going to be interested whether you keep giving their products, the least they can say is no. And then um, at least they'll sign up for the products that they were first interested in. So don't ever sell people short. Um, the other day I was like, I signed up a loyal, not the other day. It was like the end of last month. Um, and I would have never thought that she would have ordered more, more than one product. That was just me judging her from the beginning. She was asking a lot of questions. She was kind of iffy about everything. So I was like, She's just going to get the TFX. I'm just going to get an easy loyal pretty much. And that's, that was my mindset and it was totally wrong. Um, she actually ended up ordering over $200 worth of product, which is totally mind blowing. You don't know what people have to spend. Um, so don't spend their money before they tell you no. So that's just what I wanted to say. Yes. 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 That's, I love that because I've done the same thing too. I'm like, Oh, I got a sale. Yes. I'm going to leave it at here. But if they want to lose weight, you guys, you guys all know, or you should know our products work best together. So if they want maximum results, why not bundle something together? That's a really good word to use is bundle. I can throw in a bundle pack for you. Or if somebody wants the thermal fight X, but they can't take pills, don't say, okay, no problem. Reach out if you want to give it a try. You say, okay, well, what, how much are you trying to lose? I can throw a bundle pack together. We have a lot more than just the pills. 
we have coffee, we have a cleanse, we have the greens, we have this and this and this and this. You guys don't like, we have something for everybody. If somebody says, oh, I can't use it. I, you don't have anything for me. We have something that every person can use. We have stuff that doesn't have caffeine in it. We have stuff that doesn't have dairy in it. We have skincare. We have all over health and wellness. So don't just leave that conversation, but don't be too pushy. Like you don't want to push them away. And just don't be, just have a conversation. Yeah. Don't confuse them either. Like I, and even going back to like upselling and stuff, I sent someone last month, um, like an upsell message and it was three products. It was like a hundred dollars. They said, no, they only wanted the TFX. And then at the very end, you know how that mocha dreams pops up. Um, I still asked, even though they said no to the hundred dollars, they ended up putting on the mocha dreams cause they wanted to try the coffee. Um, so just because they say no, I mean, don't assume that they're going to say no to everything. So just offer it and you'll still get at least the Thermofide X and they ended up putting on the mocha dream. So. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Next you guys are going to work on expanding. This is going to be really fast because this is actually super simple. I think people overthink it, but adding to your network is expanding. If you ever hear people saying expanding or adding your network, it's adding friends on Facebook and Instagram. It's kind of uncomfortable. It was really uncomfortable for me at first because I deleted almost every person from high school off my Facebook because I used to be a really negative person. You can ask Sam, I used to be a big B word, like a big one. And I was just like, oh, no, don't like you, don't like you, don't like you, you're gone, you're gone. But when I like started using my Facebook as like my business platform, I was like, I'm gonna have to get over that and just start liking people. And that's when self-development got like came into play and I was like, okay, I'm gonna love myself. I'm gonna pour into myself every single day. That's for another Zoom. I'm not even going to talk about self-development. Bless you, Sam. <laughs> um, but uh, expanding your network. It's basically adding people to your network. So you can, you guys want to get the word out to as many people as you possibly can. So um, adding friends of friends. So when you first start, it's kind of confusing. You do not, one thing you do not want to do is you do not want to add somebody on Facebook that is a mutual friend with another distributor. You don't want to take that potential from somebody else. If you see somebody on your Facebook doing a host a post for somebody else, you need to unfriend that person unless you guys are actually friends or if they're a customer. Cause I have customers who do host a post for other people. And I'm just like, sometimes I reach out to that distributor. If I know it, I'm like, Hey, just want to reach out and let you know this person one of my active customers. No big deal. You can leave the host a post up. Good luck in the customers. I'm nice like that. You guys can, you don't want to be mean to other people cause they're hustling their butt off too. They want to get those hosts to post up. Um, and that's just what I do. And sometimes I get ideas from when I see other people's hosts to post. So I'll copy it, put it in my notes, like, mm, maybe I'll try this someday, but then I'll go delete them off of Facebook. Um, but you don't want to have somebody else's potential. Like, that was a problem with me and Sam when we joined because we have a lot of the same friends. We're from a small town. We grew up, like, small town, went to school, same place. So we had a lot of the same people that had the same friends of friends. So it was hard for me to start expanding when I did. And I thought, I was like, what if I get out of the state? Because I knew everybody in like the little town that we were in. Nebraska was bigger than you think, but whatever. Um, so I have friends that live like six hours, six, eight hours away from me um, in Iowa. And I started adding friends of theirs and my aunts and my uncles and stuff like that. You want to go to their profile picture. So this is what I do is I go to their profile picture because that's, it's more likely their favorite picture of themselves. It's going to be their most recent picture that they posted that they're feeling good. They're going to get a lot of interaction on it. So you're going to go to their likes and comments. And I click on those. And if they have five plus, somebody, you guys might do more than five plus friend, mutual friends. They have five plus mutual friends. I'm going to click on their profile, make sure they're not a distributor for any other company. I'm going to make sure they're not um, mutual friends with anybody on my team or anybody that I know is a distributor. I'm going to send them a friend request. They might accept it. They might not, but that's how I expand my network. It's so simple, just like that. And when you guys are getting those hosts to post out every single day, it's going to be really easy for you to expand your network because people are going to be liking. You're going to, people who like the comments, you guys, we're going to message them too. You're not just going to add them up as a friend on Facebook. You're going to message them and say, Hey, I saw you like so-and-so's post. Can I send you some more information? Um, and then, um, just expanding your network that way, the partner that post post my absolute favorite way. I want to add, I want to send at least 150 friend requests a day. I have to do it in really short little spurts because I've been blocked so many times off of Facebook and I do not want to get blocked again. So see when you can do it and you guys be super, super intentional with your time. Like if you have 10 minutes, 10 minutes of free time, if you're a mom, your kids are out coloring 
and you're like, I can get some work done. Do not sit down and scroll on your Facebook. This is something that I do. I scroll and I'm like, oh my God, I can be adding friends right now. Or, oh my gosh, I can go to my friends list and start setting post posts. Be as intentional as you can with your time. When you're on social media, you can be working. It's, I'm not trying to be bossy, but I want to help you guys build, build your paychecks, build your business, get, get the maximum results from, from this business. Like you can definitely 100% do that. It takes a little bit of discipline because we're so used to using social media as like, a fun thing for us to just sit down and look at, or you just love the drama. That's how I used to do <laughs> Facebook. Sam, do you want to add something? Yeah. Um, so I also have been starting to do, like, if I sent people more than one host to post message, I've been going through and deleting them just because I am so close to my 5,000. But before I delete them, if they have a pretty good network, I will add a couple of their friends and then delete them. Um, that's another way to like expand your network. You're getting into their network and then you're kind of turning off those um, notifications and becoming, not becoming their friend anymore. Um, and then, yeah, the no suggested list, um, I wouldn't add from there just because a lot of times those people have a lot of mutuals with you. Um, it's going to be mo most likely people that are in the business already or that are in another mar network marketing. Um, so that's, I did it at first. I added from suggested. I was like, oh yeah, add, 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 add. I added all those people. And then it was like mutual, um, a lot of mutual friends, a lot of people from our hometown already, um, a lot of people that were liking the same things that I was liking, which happened to be in it works. So um, I just try to stay away from it. Um, and I, if someone has like 50 or 60 mutual friends with me, they're probably in another marketing company um, or with it, it works even. So I don't know if you have any Yeah, me and Sam that. literally had over like 1,200, 1,500 <laughs> friends that were mutual. And I was like, holy crap. So I just go through it one day and I would just like, un delete, 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 unfriend, whatever. Um, but you guys have any questions on expanding? I hope that helped. Can you guys like nod your head if that helped? Cause I hope it did. So I think it's something that it's kind of hard. It's it, honestly, it was hard for me to start doing cause I was like uncomfortable with it. And I was like, but I'm so glad I did it because I wouldn't have met some of you guys. A lot of you guys I added from just, we've never met in person. We've met on social media. I would have never been able to do that if I didn't get over that fear of expanding my network and just putting myself out there. Um, and then last, this is just, this is just a simple one. Be active. You guys be active in the chats, ask questions. If you have something that's working really, really good for you that day, we have our push chat. You guys, I want to see what you're doing on a daily basis. It's not for me. It's not for Sam. We're doing this for you guys. We've been in push chats before. That's why we're putting that chat, those tasks up there every single day. You guys are completing every single one of those tasks every single day. Your business will explode. We're, I know, I guarantee we're not probably, I don't guarantee, I know we're not all sending a, one customer a day. Sometimes we'll sign like four customers in a day and then we won't send any customers the next day. But if you're getting those non-negotiables, like getting your 10 hosts to post up, adding so many people on Facebook, adding so many people on Instagram, posting, posting to your story, just those non-negotiables, figure out what your non-negotiables are. I hope it's 10 hosts to post up a day with this host post movement, you guys. Post to post is so big right now. And we've been using it forever. Everybody's like hyping it up and me and Sam are like, oh, well, it's supposed to be started doing that when we joined the business. But people didn't know about it for so long. And it's like literally the key to this business is what builds it so good. And it just helps a lot. And it just gets the word out. That's, that's basically it. You guys be intentional with your time and be active in the chats and find friends like if you guys on here maybe you don't know some of the people on here reach out to them you guys can go on zoom together me and sam would go on zoom um when we had a little our little baby team a long time ago me and sam would sit on zoom and we would just chat and we would work um build friends in here you guys it's fun it's a lot of fun sam yeah we gotta add yes um i have a couple things to add just to kind of reiterate what Jill was talking about, um, a couple of things about host to post, and then we can definitely end it. Um, but getting the most out of your host to post before I was so happy when someone would put up a host to post, I'd be like, Oh yeah, on to the next one. Um, and just forget about that person, but just utilizing, not really using them, but just getting the most out of it. Um, because they might be interested if they're willing to put up a host to post for you, they see that it blows up, ask them to be in the business. Um, and even getting into the habit of messaging people that just like the post, because sometimes, especially if it's about weight loss, people might might not want to comment on it saying, yes, I want to lose weight. It might be embarrassing to them, but if they like it, they're at least showing enough of an interest that it's not weird if you go to message them 
or it's not weird if you go to add them as a friend. Um, so that's what I've been doing and just being like, hey, I saw that you liked the post that so-and-so put up. Would you like more info? If they say no, that's fine. But um, most time they will say yes or that they just want more information and that could be a potential loyal customer. Um, so doing that. And then I usually treat my host posts as a game. Um, I'm a very pen and paper person. So I like to see things written down and crossed off. I'm a list person. Um, so it is usually my goal every day if I'm doing 10 host posts. It's my goal to get up um, two business host to post, two partnered up host to post, and six products. So depending on their network, if I have just sent them a Thermophyte X, maybe I'll give them a coffee host to post. Um, I didn't put the hair, skin, and nails one in here, but I will try to do that um, before we get off of here, or I can send it in the chat. The hair, skin, and nails one, it hasn't always worked for me, but I know that it works so well for other people. Um, so you guys can give that one a try too. And sometimes I'll go like a couple of days doing the coffee and then a couple of days of doing the Thermophyte X, just kind of playing around with it. Um, Cause I feel like sometimes they work a little bit better um, at certain times. Perfect. Yes. Thank you, Nicole. Um, and then Jill was also talking about the preload, preloading your messages. I just wanted to touch on that one more time. Um, so when, if, for instance, if someone comments on a Thermophyte X post for you, um, you will go and you will add them as a friend and then you will put the Thermophyte X message explaining what the Thermophyte X is, the price and all of that in the message box, but you won't send it until they become your friend. Then you're going to go back to the post and say, Hey, um, accept my friend request and I'll give you all the info. As soon as they accept your friend request, or if it's a couple of days later and they accept it, if you go and click on their name, Hey, this person accept my friend request, but I'm not really sure where they came from. You already have that message in there. You're like, oh, it must've been from a Thermophyte X host post. You send the message and they have it right there. Instead of having to go back through your host to post and trying to find it. Um, it also goes hand in hand with saving your host to post. So you can every couple of days go back and check on them um, to make sure that there wasn't new messages um, and new people commenting on it. Cause I've missed out on so many things by doing that. So saving your host post is definitely a good thing. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to touch on was just using your time wisely. Um, I know that I'm working on that really well this month. I go back to teaching next month. And so I know that it's going to be super crazy. Um, so I am working on doing an hour in the morning, um, an hour or two at night. I still have the same goals for myself, but just utilizing the time that I have really wisely. Um, instead of sitting down and scrolling through Facebook, okay, I have 10 minutes. What can I do in these 10 minutes? Um, so that I can set my phone down because I'm going to be busy and I can come back in an hour and respond to all those messages, respond to all those posts to post, um, whatever that might be, but just using that time really wisely. Um, and, you know, setting yourself goals like, okay, I know that I want to get three hours of work in. If I know I'm going to be busy later at night, then I want to get three hours of work in during the day um, and just really utilizing that. So. Yeah. Um, and then, and then not doing all the work at one time, either like splitting it up, doing it over lunch, doing it over dinner, um, doing 15 minutes here and there and switching up your tasks. So sometimes if you don't have to be on a power hour to do a power hour, sometimes I'll do it with myself. Like, okay, I have a half an hour. What are some of the tasks I can do, um, that I can kind of bounce back and forth five minutes, set a timer, go get through one song, um, whatever you want to do, get through till one commercial, whatever, you can sit on the couch and do it, seriously. Um, just send out host post messages until the next commercial. Send, send out friend requests until the next commercial. Just make it a game um, and set goals for yourself. Because if you're, even if you're not going, um, I think this is like the best advice that I ever got. Even if you're not going for a promotion, you should still be going for something. So, I mean, you should obviously be pushing for the next promotion, but if you're trying to work on building yourself up, work on building that team, um, at least be trying to get a goal. Like maybe last month you signed five customers this month, you want to make it a goal to sign 10. That's a goal. You're running for something instead of just being like, well, whatever happens this month happens, push yourself, um, and put yourself out there. So that's all. I, I love that. I want to add something on that too. Yeah. Set a goal for yourself too. Every single month, not business wise, set a goal for yourself. What do you want to grow in? Do you want to grow in your faith? Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to start working out? By the way, Sam, I'm going to do my workout before bed. Don't know if you did yours. We're keeping each other accountable this month. <laughs> or we it started already. yesterday and we both are like, <laughs> we have abs today. Um, but you guys work on yourself too. You can always, always, always grow. You're never too, you're never too old to grow. You're never too good to grow. Everybody always has something that they want to work on. I work on my faith every single day. I try to be a good mom every single day. Like there's so many different things that I'm working on and be loud about it. You guys on your social media, you never know who's struggling with those things. If you're comfortable, don't try to get too uncomfortable. Um, I wanted to share this really quick before we got off of here. 
I started a new way on how to organize my stuff. I've been doing it for a week and a half now, and I really, really like it. Before, I was just using a little notebook. I don't even know if this might be it. Yeah, this is how I was doing it before. So I would write down how many hours I wanted to work a day. I'd cross them off, how many hosts to post, how many friend requests. And then these are my hosts to post, and I would highlight the ones that posted for me. But I really want to sign some distributors. So what I've been doing is this. This is just like a regular piece of paper. And I have people who say they're going to host posts. I highlight the ones who posted. Don't look at that. I'm not done for the day. I still got to get my 10 up. And then I'm writing my potential distributors. I have to see that with my eyes. I have to see the PDT written on a piece of paper or I'm not going to send those messages. I will forget. Even though I have written down on sticky notes that I'm a mass enrolling in distributors, if I don't have it on what I'm doing on that single that day, I will not do it. I know I need a message for distributors. And then potential little customers I'm writing on here. This is just another box for host to post. But there's so many different ways to like stay organized with it, you guys. Find what works best for you. Um, but tomorrow is the middle of the month. The whatever half of the month is over. Half of the month is left for us to hustle. So I can't wait to see you guys all promote this month. And I hope you guys, like some of you guys just maybe you just got your first paychecks and I'm really excited for you. Um, but remember you can double that. You can triple that. You can quadruple that. You still have 16 days left till the end of this month. You guys let's hustle our butts off and use everything that me and Sam gave you tonight. I'm going to post this on the page. You guys can always rewatch this. You can have your newbies watch this, whatever. We have a newbie Zoom tomorrow night, but one thing I want to add too, I keep adding things and things and things. Get on as many Zooms as you can and take notes. I would get on Zooms all the time. I have old notebooks full of notes. And one thing I noticed lately, because I don't know, I just don't ever write notes anymore, but I started writing the notes. There's something about writing it down that sticks in your brain or saying it out loud after the Zoom, like looking at it, or like if I share something with you guys, if I'm sharing something with you guys, that's stuck in my brain because I said it out loud or because I wrote it on a piece of paper. It really, really helps. Get on as many Zooms as you can. It's a non-negotiable for me. If there is a Zoom, I am absolutely not missing it. I just bit my cheek. I don't know if you guys heard me like lisp for a second. My wisdom tooth is coming in. I'm not missing it, um, but I'm not missing any Zoom. Like I literally, kick myself in the butt if I miss a zoom. I miss is a one diamond zoom since I've been diamond and I was diamond five months in the business. So over a year, over a year, and I don't know, over a year I've been diamond and I've missed one and they're every single week. So I, I make it a non-negotiable. I understand if you're at work, whatever, but if you're home, try to make it, try to make that time work. You know, when the, the zooms are, we try to post it as soon as we know. Um, tomorrow night where there's a newbie zoom at, at nine on Wednesday, um, but we're switching out the times for those, but you guys try to get on every single Zoom, pour into yourself what other people pour into you, rewatch old Zooms. When I first joined the business, I always had Zooms playing in the background because you never know what's going to stick out. Maybe you've heard the same thing like 50,000 times and then that one person says it a different way and you're like, oh my gosh, like I'm mind blown, but you've heard it before. You never know. Something's going to stick out, but stay connected. I love you all so much. And I cannot wait to see how the rest of the month goes. I'm going to stop recording right now.